Ancient, brutal demons. What were the Balrogs, and where did they come from? The name Balrog meant power terror, or demon of might. They were Maiar, powerful spirits of Arda. Early in the First Age, when Melkor rebelled against Eru, the Balrogs joined him in his malice, following in the footsteps of Sauron, the greatest of the Maiar, and Melkor's right hand. The Balrogs were indwelled by a fire spirit known as the Flame of Udun, and they carried with them giant whips of pure fire, their bodies covered in a garb of darkness. The greatest of the Balrogs was named Gothmog, who slew many notable elves of the First Age, including Feanor, Fingon, and Ecthelion of the Fountain, the latter of which killed Gothmog in return. The fleet of the Balrogs fought alongside the Dark Lord Melkor throughout the First Age, crushing many enemies in their wake. Another notable elf slain by an encounter with a Balrog was the mighty Glorfindel after entering into a duel with a Balrog after the fall of Gondolin in the latter years of the First Age. After an epic clash, both the elf and the demon plunged to their death from a mountainside. The First Age was ended by the War of Wrath, most of the Balrogs were destroyed in the conflict. The few surviving Balrogs crawled deep into the belly of the earth. One such Balrog was the one the Fellowship encountered in Moria, more than six millennia after the War of Wrath. That lone Balrog entered into a 10-day duel with Gandalf the Grey, a fight that claimed both of their lives. The presence of Balrogs in Middle-earth history had a great influence on the events and people of the different ages. Their might was felt in the earliest of days and reached all the way to the end of the Third Age. The following is an excerpt from the chapter Of the Enemies found in the Silmarillion. Last of all is set the name of Melkor. Yet so great was the power of his uprising that in ages forgotten he contended with Manwe, and through long years in Arda held dominion over most of the lands of the earth. But he was not alone, for of the Maiar many were drawn to his splendor in the days of his greatness, and remained in that allegiance down into his darkness, and others he corrupted afterwards to his service with lies and treacherous gifts. Dreadful among these spirits were the Valaraukar, the scourges of fire that in Middle-earth were called the Balrogs, demons of terror. So friends, hope everyone is well. If you haven't already, please subscribe and click the bell icon to stay up to date with everything here on the channel. Take care, everyone. This has been the Memory Troll. Cheers.